Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're talking about the FIFA 22 EA Play Early Access Trial. Now, it's getting to that time of year that people are now thinking about the actual 10 hours early access. Now, this is always a fun time of year because this is when you get the full game. Pretty much, for £4 or £3.99 or $4.99, you get the full version of the game, but you're limited by hours. But there is a few ways to get around it to get... Even more hours, could be 20, could be 30, could be unlimited, and I will show you how to do it from what we've seen last year, and also little things you should know about the EA Access trial. So if you guys do enjoy, smash a like button, and also subscribe if you are new. Hey, big Norse, do you want the best player on the game? Well, you can't get Demoni, because he's probably not in FIFA. No. So... Get Phil Bosley. Get all the Phil Bosley. So if you're looking for the best way to get coins, don't spend fewer points. Go over to useandbuy.com for the cheapest place on the market for your coins. Use code VISIT at checkout. Right now, we're of course on Xbox One. Now, this is how you actually buy the EA access with or the EA Play. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, but you can't actually access the EA Play app on Xbox. For some reason, on the EA Play Hub, you just don't get onto it. So you may be kind of confusing, wait, but I can't actually get onto it. You gotta go through the actual website. So of course, right here is the actual EA Play website. So you just go and click join now and you go and log in through your Xbox account or your PlayStation. It's very simple really. And then you pay $4.99 a month or £3.99 to actually get the initial EA Play trial. You can't get the trial without doing this. Like there's no other way around it. So if you got a spare £4 or if you aren't of age to actually have a job you're like 13 you can ask your parents i guess that's if you really desperately want to if they say no then i i can't help you there lad so you go pay monthly and you confirm which account is yours i've logged in for my actual xbox account so there you go and then i pay for it and i got ea play i've already got it but that's how you get the ea play trial to begin with so here we go from the actual ea play website it speaks about fifa 22 there is a trial of course from what i figured there's no demo this year and if there was we'll know by now there'd be no demo i did say that about a week ago and it looks like yeah there'd be no demo and i don't think ea will be doing demos anytime soon but here we go it says right there early access trial starting september 22nd 2021 and it says in there start your season with a 10 hour trial days before release so september 22nd is on a wednesday now i can't say what time to expect it because honestly in previous years usually it's you're maybe at night bang go and hit september 22nd there's the early access trial sometimes it was like that but sometimes it's just random just throughout the day like around five o'clock or three o'clock or two o'clock it's just out so i can't give you a specific time it's just any time that day and this is how you actually get to it now this is when it may get a bit weird because last year i remember that there was a lot of confusion about the trial and how to actually access it because you can't actually get onto the hub on your xbox or on your ps4 now this is how people got onto it so if you go on the microsoft.com website and try to find fifa 22 xbox series x or s now it's not on this exact same page but it'd be on the microsoft website that when it does get dropped they will drop a fifa 22 xbox series x or x or ps5 or whatever else it'll drop a early access trial it will drop it through the Microsoft website. And when you get onto it, make sure you log in to your actual Xbox account to log in to whatever account you have. And it will automatically start downloading the trial through your Xbox because you're going into this bar here. Now, before I think it was like some three dots, like three dots, you clicked on it and it said redeem trial or just download trial. And then you downloaded it, you selected what Xbox you want, and it would download it automatically through your actual console. So this is how it worked last year. You just go and Try and find when it's dropped on the Microsoft website, you will find it and you can go and click the three dots or whatever it is and it will say download now. Or if it's on PS4, look at the PS4 website as well. There is a way that you can get both 10 hour trials if you have the new gen console. From what we found out during the Madden 22 launch that people who had both versions of the old gen and new gen console, they can use a 10 hour trial on the same account through their same one purchase of EA Play, but get double the hours. They could play on their PS4, 
do the 10 hours and then play 10 hours on the PS5 and it wouldn't use the same hours. It'd be two separate 10 hour trials on both consoles. So if you do in fact have a new gen console, you can go and get 20 hours of FIFA 22 as long as you got new gen and still your old gen console. If it's Xbox One and the Xbox Series X or if it's PS4 or the PS5. This was found to work for Madden 22 and there's no reason because it's, it's the exact same software that it should still work the same way. Also, by the way, that I must say, if you have pre-ordered FIFA 22, because you maybe think about your know, download time, maybe it took a while to download a style of this magnitude. If you download the pre-ordered version of FIFA 22, which I, this isn't it, this is just a beta, but if you download that, you don't need to re-download it again if you already have the pre-order when you get the trial. It should use the same thing. It'll just be like an update, for example. So that is how you get the 20 hours trial. Now, let's say, for example, you don't have the new gen console. So you can just use just a normal old gen Xbox One or PS4. This is how the EA Access trial worked last year. I will show you how to do it in this video as well so that you guys, when you do get it, how it works and try it out for yourselves. I will do a new video when the game does actually drop and if it is changed, I will update you guys when it happens. Now, sadly, I must say this is typically only for Xbox consoles. For PS4, PS5, I never am able to find a, a glitch that works, okay? It just doesn't work on the PlayStation consoles. I don't know why. It just doesn't. So let's say that you're an Xbox and you got an Xbox One and you can't do the 20 hours through your actual normal EA access, but you want to play longer than 10 hours. This is how it worked last year. So you're going to make sure that you got two consoles with the EA Play subscription. So you got your main, which is Visa YouTube. Then I got my second account with the Visa with Free for the E. That also has a subscription to EA Play. I'm going to go through it step by step right now so that you guys know what to do when you actually try to out yourself for the new EA access. So you log into FIFA 21, logged into both accounts, but you are using your second account. So what happens is that you use your hours of your second account, use those 10 hours onto your main. Let's say you used nine hours and you got like 10 minutes left of your main account hours. You don't want to use any more. You can use this to use hours on another account so you can transfer over to your main pretty much. Your second account, you go and do this. You go into friendlies you go into player friend and what you do is that you go and invite your main account to a game of fifa in this screen you go over and swap over to your main account just like that you go out and then you go and accept that invite that you just received off your second account go into here and you click accept but what happened you cancel here so what happened is that on that screen that it will say connecting to EA servers. When it tries to connect you to the servers, you cancel it as fast as you can and say that you wanna go and play offline. Then once you're on this screen, you can go and try to connect servers all over again through your main account. And then once this is done, you should now connect to the servers through your main account and use the hours from your second account. And then once you connect, you can go and go play FUT through your main account using your second account hours. That is how it worked last year and if it doesn't work, always a glitch. There's no way that EA is perfect. It, oh, there's always something. So, lads, that is everything you need to know about the EA 10 hours early access trial. If there's anything else which I do find out, I'll let you guys know. But, yeah, lads, I wish you all luck. And I'll see you all very soon for another video. Stay safe and peace out.